Today I got a request to learn about car functions and also what the different parts of a car are called. This is the horn, so if you want to press it, you would say, I need to hit the horn or I want to honk the horn. This is also called the blinker. You can say, hit the blinker. That is a side view mirror. That is your rear view mirror. And this thing up here is the sunroof. So you would say I'm opening the sunroof or I'm closing the sunroof. If you want to turn the window down or open the window, you would say I'm rolling down the window. So you can also tell somebody, um, can you roll up the window for me? or roll down the window for me. Turn these on, these are windshield wipers, or you can just call them wipers, so you need to turn on the wipers when it rains. Oh, air conditioning, this button right here, or this button. Uh, you can also just call it AC. Oh, it's so hot in here, I need to turn on the AC. You would just hit that button. Or if it's too cold, you would say, I need to turn on the heat, or turn on the heater. And just turn this to the red side over here. This button up here, you turn it on. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with that function, but it is called your flashers or four-way flashers or even emergency flashers. They're all the same. It's just this flashing light here. Turn that off. Lock or unlock the door. There's no real slang term for it, you just say lock or unlock the car. Right here, this is called the e-brake, or emergency brake, or the handbrake. Handbrake turn. Hang on! Pulling the handbrake, and this is called releasing the handbrake. So, make sure it's pulled, so we don't roll away. Oh, also, and for your seat, if you want to move your seat forward or backwards like this, you would say, I need to adjust my seat. Start the car. And it's called starting up the car, or I need to turn on the car, or if you want to be really colloquial, you can say, I'm going to fire up the engine. Or when you turn it off, you would just say, I'm turning off the car, or I need to kill the engine. If you want to just go very, very slowly, you would say, I need to just tap the gas or tap the accelerator. It's the same thing. All you got to do is just tap it in. Or if you really want to go fast, you would say, I'm stepping on it. Or I need to floor it. And you push the pedal all the way to the floor. If you want somebody to go really fast, you would say, punch it, and then just telling them to step all the way down. Punch it. Same thing for brakes. Very lightly step on the brake, you would say, I just need to tap the brakes. Just tap the brakes a little bit. All you gotta do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. Hey, just tap it in. Suddenly you need to stop really fast, you would say, I need to slam on the brakes, like that. And if you want to open the trunk, you'd say, I'm popping the trunk, or I'm slamming the trunk down if it's really hard, or I'm just closing the trunk if it's soft. Same thing with the hood. If you're opening the hood, you would say, pop the hood. Or if you're closing the hood, you would just say, close the hood. If you want to put something in the trunk, you would just say, I just need to throw something in the trunk. Throw in the trunk is colloquial. Or if you want to put something in the car, you can say, just throw it in the car. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel to learn more colloquial English terms. I also made a video about other car parts and directions. So if you want to click on one of these two videos, you can learn more colloquial English car terms. Anyway, see you next time.